what's a chemical flush? Uh, you may be wondering this because you've um, had a quote for a boiler replacement and it's compulsory to have either a chemical flush or a power flush and you're wondering what, what exactly is a chemical flush. Um, so what it involves is putting some cleaner in your heating system um, which removes all the loose debris and dirt that's circulating around your heating system. And then once you've run the system for an hour or so, you can then flush that cleaner out with the chemicals and all the dirt will follow with it. Um, and then once you refill your heating system afterwards, you can then add some protector or some inhibitor in the system. Um, so these are just some typical cleaning products. Um, leading manufacturers like Sentinel and Fernox also a day um, do good chemicals. Um, the, the cleaning chemicals are these these ones here, the X800 and the F3. Um, the, you put these in, like I say, for an hour or so, and they will clean your system to a certain degree. If you don't have a heavily contaminated system, then these are the kind of a chemical flushes recommended. Once your engineer is happy with the dirt that's come out of the system, um, they will then protect it with inhibitor or a F1 protector or a day again would do good chemicals. I'd stay away from non-branded chemicals because um, I'm not, they have been rumored um, to actually calcify the heating system and cause more problems than good. The um, non-branded um, cheaper chemicals on the market can be problematic. So you're not gonna pay much more for a, a Sentinel or a Fernox um, treatment. So um, I think the, the Sentinels about 20 pounds, Fernox maybe about 15, but as you can see, you get more with the Sentinel. This is one litre, whereas the Fernox in a day are only 500 mil, which is fine. 500 mil will be fine for like a small radiators, uh, for a small system, uh, five radiators or so. Uh, the one litre, uh, you want to be putting more in like a one litre dosage, which uh, for maybe 10 or 12 radiators depending on the size of the radiators. As long as there's some inhibitor going in the system uh, on that sort of scale, I usually think about 100 mil per uh, one radiator is, is a rough gauge. Um, but if you if it's a commercial system with bigger radiators on bigger pipe wear, then you, that's a different sort of calculation. But for a domestic heating installation, be thinking 100 mil for one radiator, 10 radiators, one litre sort of thing.